Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're looking in on our cocoon bins. So, as you can see, this, okay, this is the European Nightcrawler one. If I move the camera just a little, you can see that they have been crawling all over the place. I think I mentioned uh, in one of my comments to Lilia that my European Nightcrawlers don't you know, crawl and try and escape. Um, well, these little brats apparently do. I don't know if they're trying to escape or not, but they certainly have been crawling the walls. Um, by comparison, this is the Red Wiggler cocoon bin. Clean as a whistle. Doesn't look like anybody's been crawling or doing anything. So, uh, I'm big enough to admit it. These things uh, apparently do like to go run them up, but that's not what we're doing here today. Today, we're doing an update on the cocoons to see how they are doing. So I was going to see how big they are. These are the European night crawlers. Okay. They must have something better to do. Oh, wait, here's one. Truthfully, these things kind of got forgotten. So they, they might not be as big as they could be if perhaps I had uh, not been cleaning out my closet and forgot they existed under a pile of clothing that I was going to give to Goodwill. So I haven't done an update on them because I haven't really been doing anything with them. But this is all the bigger they are. It's, uh, you know, you've got the ones that probably hatched first, which are bigger. And then you've still got some, some pretty tiny ones. They all appear to be kind of about the, you know, give or take about the same. I don't see any super big ones. I'm not seeing any with a clitellum either, as of yet. It's early. So yeah, they're still they're still kind of tiny. Certainly not getting tossed into the Titan bin anytime soon. But I did throw some food in here thinking that they, you know, might be hungry. That's coffee grounds and corn and ground vegetables, but it's not been in there long enough to get a, a worm ball out of it, but looking at their box, tear that up for them a little bit, but that's still the box that they came in, so they're still working on that. They've just about got that paper towel eaten, or newspaper I guess, it's not paper towel. Yeah, there's, there's paper towel. So that's still breaking down. There's a good size one. I'm not a big fan of being on TV. Cover them back up. But they're working through this bedding quite a bit, considering that there's there's only babies in here. They really are um, doing a good job getting everything worked through. But they aren't all about that big. They're, they're not winning any size prize for anything. So I have fed some of this uh, gruel. Maybe put some on the other side, give them some options, and then I'm going to grab them up and uh, get some more get some more bedding in here. I'll bring you back in a moment. Alright, so I'm going to give them a little bit more of my prepared bedding. It's got the, um, the eggshell and the grit already in it. Give them a little bit more real estate, maybe they'll get a little bit bigger. 
because right now they're still pretty tiny. I'm also going to give them some slices, some apple slices. Put that underneath on the other side. That'll take a long time to break down. Put that under the bedding. And uh, that's pretty much it for the European night crawlers. I don't see, I mean, it's been since April. April? No, May. May, so May 15th, June, July, August, so they're three months old and they're still not exactly mature worms, which I think they should be, but uh, I don't know what the story is with that. I'm going to move you over here to the Red Wiggler bin and see what they're up to. Okay. Tear their box up a little bit for them too. And their paper towel. I'm going to give them the same treatment that I did the others. So let's have a look and see what they're doing. They've got their food over there in the corner. Kind of move some of the bedding around to see if anybody's home. I just saw one. Lost track of it. So that is a wisp. That's probably a recent. Re Where'd he go? Um, pretty recent wisp. So even after three months, I've still got ones that are hatching. So that really does speak to the length of time that cocoons can take to hatch. Um, so you know if they. You don't, you know, get things right away. There's a reason for it. They, um, I've always seen those ranges in books about, you know, how how long it takes for them to hatch, and there's always a huge range that includes, like, almost a year. And I always think, is that because they don't know, or oh, kind of a warm ball here. So these are the red wigglers, and they are still very tiny. Um, there's a spent cocoon, empty. That as I'm digging around here, you know, I, I see still juveniles. I'm not finding many adults yet. Still little babies, so they're still eating a little bit of the food I had given them a week or so ago. So it's it's they're not remaining small due to lack of food. They're just you know it's a small bin. It's only a couple gallons. But as I kind of dig through here, I'm seeing that most of the worms are remaining small. So I'm going to give them some more bedding as well in hopes that a little bit more real estate will help them get a little bigger. Same amount, big, big handful of prepared paper that's shredded cardboard, shredded paper with added eggshell. And um, I've been putting a little bit of kelp meal in there just in case there's some nutrient deficiency because I, I do feed pretty much the same thing all the time and just in case it's not 100% right for them, give them a little extra nutrients. I'm going to give them some apple slices too. Bury those. And I can work on that. But they don't seem, the red wigglers do not seem to have gone through the bedding and the paper. They appear to be similar in size and age as the European night crawlers. But they don't appear to be working on things quite as fast. Oh, I'm going to get that apple buried a little bit more. So they've got the pureed food in the corner and the new apple and a new handful of petting. Uh, 
handful of bedding. So I think that's it for this update. Go ahead. I'm going to put in the bag for the big picture. Okay, well, here we are at the end of our cocoon only bins, European night crawlers, red wigglers. And I'm not really saying winners or losers or whatever, but they are going through their material faster. Uh, there appears to still be more red wigglers, but they don't appear to have matured a whole bunch. They're still immature small worms. So I, I don't know what the story is for that. We'll just, uh, they're up here in the not air conditioned room with the African night crawlers. So they, it's not too cold, not too hot, should be in the Goldilocks zone, so to speak, of about 75 degrees, 70, 75, give or take. So I don't know what the malfunction is, why they're not maturing faster, or if this is just what it is. All right, guys. Well, give me a thumbs up. Uh, click the subscribe button. Hit the little bell icon if you want to know when I'm doing more updates. And thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.